This is the giant eland, and as you can see, it is not too much larger than the regular eland. The thing that really makes them different size-wise is the horns. You can look at the giant eland and see that its horns are quite massive. They can be over three feet long, and that's significantly larger than the regular eland. And the giant eland lives up to its name. It can be up to 11 feet long and weigh over a ton, and they are six feet tall at the shoulder. So very large animals, but despite their size, they can still run up to 40 miles an hour. And they can clear fences that are five feet high without any problem. And they live in herds of about 25 members, sometimes larger herds, but those are usually temporary. And within those herds, you find these small nursery herds where all the young have this mutual attraction to one another and they form these close social bonds and they all stick together, which is convenient because if you need to know where your child is, you just look for the nursery herd. And so if a mother has a child in the nursery herd, she will defend that child and consequently defend all the other children as well. So all the mothers protect all the children. Elands live in the southern part of Africa, and there are efforts there to domesticate them like we do with the dairy cow, because they yield quite a bit of tender meat, and their milk is twice as rich in protein as the dairy cow. But they require a lot more space than cows do, and they also can clear five-foot-high fences, so that makes them a little bit harder to contain than old Bessie at the farm. But that's the giant eland.